Morning everybody, Rusty from the Rusty Razor. I have another shave of the day for you. And today we're going to be delving back into something I really, really enjoy since it's fall. Yep, it's from Crown and Crane Amber Woods. You basically got that woodsy scent with a slight dash of citrus, baby. With, uh, uh, it's kind of a resiny uh pine note kind of coming across very enjoyable i like it uh this is one of the first puck uh of soap that i ever bought was from crown and cream with this one here because i got a sample of it and was like ooh, i like this one so i went and just bought some of it real good soap lathers up really nice you see here you get that uh kind of a piney note coming across now with that uh earthy tone like you would find with autumn fall leaves and stuff all over the ground and the lather is just like wow look at this it's just so oh, lots of lather just come off of this thing it lathers up great and the razor is 1986 uh black beauty no oh, this is 1983 black beauty it's like you got two of them had to look at it. It's like, yep, this one's not as beat up. So this has got to be the 83. And with some state of blades. This is the, let's see. There's, this would be the third use of this one. I had to go through and say, which one? When did I start using this one? It was on Saturday. All right. So that is the razor. And we'll be, if you looked at the thumbnail, you'd know that we're going to be using some Stetson. I really like Stetson. This bottle's getting really low, but... There's another one in the house. I wonder what I could do with this one. Hmm. So, got an extra Stetson now. It's like Walmart had one, so I picked it up. Okay. I uh, do have some Barbasol 1919 on the face. Makes a good, cheap, uh, inexpensive uh, pre shave material. Doesn't cost very much. Doesn't need much to uh, get a nice little wet. Slick this on the face. All right. I think I got the consistency of this. So try to escape. About right. Got that sheen on it. Well, I hope everybody's day is going good. The, uh, Weekend started off pretty good for me. Then it ended in this like misery. But you know, I was supposed to. Uh, oh, wow, getting suds everywhere. Maybe I got a little too much soap, uh, moisture in it. It works though. Yeah, I had a, a cousin of mine passed away he was only 72 an older cousin and never took care of himself so he passed away and had to you know I was supposed to go to the, the funeral on Sunday and I was like what am I doing here it's like setting three with this it's kind of like how my weekend went how I'm feeling right now so I was supposed to do that on Sunday but Saturday is okay and run over to the local store and their pharmacy. You know, it's like with my insurance, I can get the. Uh, it's like my uh, brother-in-law had he got shingles. I was like, okay. And he's like, this is miserable. And he sent pictures of it, and it's like, ugh, yuck. And he said, this is horrible. So I was like, get the shingle shot. I'm like, okay. So, on Saturday, I went over and got the shingle shot. Not thinking of anything of it. And they just said, oh, yeah, here, fill the paperwork out real quick. Your insurance costs you nothing to get the vaccine. Like, okay. So I definitely don't want to have to go through what he's going through. Because it was like, imagine uh, getting the chicken pox equivalent when you're 60 years old. Yeah. So, went and got the vaccine, and they stuck it, and it's like, 
said, well, you might feel a little bit of discomfort in the injection area, which is pretty typical. I'm like, okay. And usually it's like every time I got a vaccine, it's like a lot of times you get stiffness or soreness for about a day and you're, that's it. Well, two days, three days later, boy, that night, my arm started swelling up. I ended up getting a big knot in my arm. It was like pain, and I started getting aches and chills and everything. I don't know if you can see this, but if you see it right there, this whole area right here was just like a big, it swelled up about that high. It was like, I couldn't hardly move my arm. I was like, it was horrible. I'm like, and I have a friend of mine that used to work in a pharmacy, and he said, oh, that's typical. That's what happens. I'm like, oh, my God. Whew. And then today, uh, this morning on Monday, it uh, is just itching like crazy. I put lotion on it and cortisone, and it's just like itching. It's like... Drive me nuts. So, uh oh, the old blob all over the counter here. So, that night, before it's like. You know, we had our daylight savings time, so you'd go around and change all the clocks and everything. So, I usually don't go to bed till like 2 o'clock in the morning, typically. And I'm like 12.30 rolled around, and I'm like, <laughs> just, just shivering like crazy. I'm under a, a sweatshirt on and sweatpants, and I'm like... I feel like I was freezing to death, sweating and freezing at the same time. Like, this is miserable. So I crawl into bed and I'm like shivering and back starts aching and it's like, it was not a pleasant experience at all. Next day and Sunday, yesterday, I'm like, felt like my back was slowing up. Lower back. You see, it's like my kidneys were swollen. Yeah, it was miserable. But then about last night, I guess around 8 or 9 o'clock, I uh, started feeling pretty good comparatively to, to what I had been feeling like. So, it was... Not good at all. But I stayed up and I watched the Dune movie again. Like, I'm kind of hooked on that movie. I like it. Is it bad I've watched the same movie five times now? <laughs> How much I like it. And it helps is that you know, on HBO Max, I can watch it until uh, I think the 20th or something like that. When it leaves. So I've been watching it like crazy. And every time I watch it, I pick up a different nuance. There's so many different things that are hidden. It's like you start watching things in the background. It's like, okay, I know what's going on in the front ground. Then I go watching what's in the background. Just to get a good idea of what's going on. They're... Are like hidden things. It was like last night. I'm, I'm standing there looking at the plants. I was like, "Oh yeah, I know, I, rec I recognize those." So that's strange. I don't know. It's like they had a little bonsai in the background. Portulacaria afros. There were some of them.
Yeah, they did a good job for that movie. My only regret is I haven't seen it on the big screen. It's kind of hard for... My wife's like, well, we, we can watch it on HBO Max. There's no reason for us to go to the theater and watch it and spend the extra money. I'm like, okay. Even though I want to. Fine. I can live without that. Even though the first Dune movie, I watched it in the theater. Way back in the 80s. But, you know, when I was a... Uh, 20 something but all right let's go grits the grain here yeah i can feel that this is state and blade is reaching into its life but i'm still feeling the after effects of that vaccine today i got stiffness in my neck kind of lower back still stiff and like I said, the shoulder, the swelling has gone down on my shoulder. Woke up this morning, I don't have the big swollen knot anymore. But the after effects is still there. It's still itchy like crazy. I had, at times, it felt like I was on fire. That's what I guess is that you get a really bad burning sensation when you have shingles. So oh, I was like feeling it everywhere. It's like I'm on fire. Like Saturday night when I was laying in bed, it was like, oh my feet, my feet feel like they're burning up. And it's like right now, I can feel it on my leg. My thigh is like a hot burning sensation. So, obviously, the vaccine is working. It's forcing my body to fight like crazy. It's like I had that, you know, the uh, heck when I had corona, it wasn't even like those. And then I got that, the vaccine for coronavirus. <laughs> All that did was like, I'm kind of tired. That was it. I don't know if it was because I already had it, that it, it uh, didn't affect me any. I don't know. A couple weeks ago, I guess, it's, I guess it's been a month now. I got the, uh, I get a flu shot every year, and all there, other than minor discomfort in the shot area, you know, it's like a little bit of tightness, you know, it's like, no big deal. The uh, residual slickness of this soap, it's really good. If you like Sterling style, this will work. Residual slickness. I just add a little bit of moisture to the face here and, and just glide right over. Yeah, there. So, so hopefully, tomorrow is the big day when by the time you're watching this video. I should be in a lot better condition. But needless to say, I was supposed to go to a funeral on Sunday. I felt so bad I didn't go. So, there's that. Felt bad about it, but I was going to be driving myself, and I was like, the way I was so miserable. I'm tired, achy. I don't feel like uh, it would have taken probably some caffeine of some type to maybe hopefully keep me awake, and I don't want to do that. 
when it's two and a half hour drive in one direction. Go a quarter of the way across the state. Which a lot of people don't realize how big this state is. And it's one not one of the biggest ones. Takes about six hours to drive across it. About five from north to south, six, well, over six to go east west. Well, at least we have some interesting things to see other than, like you go to, through Nebraska or Kansas, you're like, oh, there's nothing here. The break up in a monotony other than just rolling hills. The don't even have fields of, it's just prairie. Morning. Right there. Okay, got it. Okay. Yeah, I think I did. Make sure to get behind the ears. Nothing worse than going around and having suds in the back of your head. Alright. Time for some cooling Stetson. I like Stetson. Smells good. Where are you going? Get back here. The thing about Stetson that it doesn't have alcohol, so it doesn't cause burning. But I like the cooling part that it's a low it's kind of a liquid lotion style. And it uh then the cooling effect goes into effect uh, slightly after about 30 seconds to a minute. So yeah, a weeper. Hmm. So Stetson's cooling. It was its official called uh, cooling moisturizer. Moisture. Cooling moisture. So, works good. Okay. The soap of the day is... Oh, I've got some soap on the top of it. Yeah. All right. Crown and Crane Amber Woods. It's an excellent soap. Makes a nice lather. If you like a woodsy scent, this will, it's subtle. A very subtle, nice scent. I enjoy it a lot. And this was my 1983 Gillette Black Beauty with State and Blades. The last use of these blades are going into the bin. They got time to say sayonara. And that's it. That's the shave of the day. I hope you guys like it. So hit the old like button. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Rusty out.